I'm David Oland, a precision laser specialist. Today I wanted to introduce you to the Coherent VersaPulse 100 watt Holmium laser. It's used for bladder stone removal and many, many other arthroscopic procedures. This laser uh, was recently rebuilt by us. We put four new bricks into the unit. We prepared it for a customer. I went through the complete system, changing the uh, deionizing filters, the water, four new bricks. I've aligned all of the optics and calibrated the system. I'm about to start the laser up. When I do this, I want to have on proper safety glasses. Uh, there's a lot of energy coming out of this. Damage will happen to your eye if you are unsafe and not wearing glasses. So anytime you want to start this laser up, make sure you have good safety glasses on. In a moment, you're going to see this flash in a very bright succession. I'm going to look away. Um, again, for the safety of my eyes. If during all of those self-tests, no problems were found, the laser will allow me to go into a user screen Everything has been set up on the laser. I didn't expect troubles. And so at this point, as a user, I could start my case, of course, with all the covers on. But what I'd like to do instead is I'd like to go into the service mode and take a look at some of the parameters of the laser. I have various screens that tell me a lot of information about how the laser is running. The first screen allows me to turn any given brick on and off to work on it. And it tells me uh, the condition of the brick uh, if I put a certain amount of energy or rep rate into that brick. The next screen allows me to look at the number of pulses on each brick, uh, how much time is on the laser, low volt supplies, the condition of the water, which should be clean. Because I changed the filters already, I have 15 plus meg of resistance, which is fantastic. The last screen that's really important to me is the condition of the four bricks. I can go into this screen and see how much energy is needed into the brick to get 3.5 joules out of the brick. That tells me how efficiently each of the bricks are running. And as I said, we put in four new bricks, and as a result, all four of these bricks are in fantastic shape. I'd like to just take a quick look at the mode coming out of each of these four bricks. I can do it by turning three bricks off and only allowing one to remain on. I'll put energy into the flash lamp, put myself into ready, and at this point, I'll be able to take a look at the output of brick number one. I have a fantastic, round, good, clean, crisp mode. That's exactly what I want to see. Looking at brick number two only, I'm able again to look at a really, really good mode. The mode coming out of number three, again, a nice round mode, good and clear. And number four, I'm able again to get a nice, good, round mode. It tells me a lot about the condition and alignment of the egg laser. The next steps I would have done would have been to align the four channels through this first mirror M1 into my fiber optic cable, and then using M2 mirrors to align all four channels into my safety detector. Those steps have been done. I know that this system's in complete alignment. The aiming beam's been aligned into the fiber. I have a good output. Last thing I'd like to do is check the output power and make sure that the energy that's displayed to the user is correctly calibrated to my meter. I'm going to do that by selecting an energy of one joule per pulse. 
at a rate of 10 pulses per second should show up on my meter as 10 watts. Again, I'm going to let everybody in the room know that I have on, uh, that I'm about to fire the laser and that the, the safety glasses need to be on at this point. My fiber is directed into my mirror safely. And my meter is indicating roughly 3 or 4% over the uh, 10 watt uh, calibrated factor. I have a brand new fiber on here. And um, I'm going to bring that down in just a moment, a, a percentage of, or two. At the same time, I have a, a, a meter set up here to take a look at my safety detectors to make sure they're in balance with my main detectors. And if they are, my voltmeter would show a zero volt difference while I'm lasing. And they do. This has already been done by me. And I know that this laser is calibrated and that safety detectors are balanced. Now that I know that the laser has been completely aligned and calibrated, I want to functionally test the laser. If I were to turn the energy up to a higher level, this laser goes up to 100 watts. And fired into uh, this fiber in midair, the energy coming through the fiber would melt the tip of the fiber and destroy the fiber. So for me to test this at full power, to make sure that there's no problems with the laser, no error codes, and that it's able to run at full power without any problem, I'm going to take my fiber and insert it into a gallon of deionized water. The deionized water will act as a coolant, keeping the tip of the fiber cooled down and prevent damage to my fiber. So I'm going to select 2.5 joules per pulse at a rate of 40 pulses per second, equaling 100 watts of output power. The fiber is still in good shape. I have no error codes on the display. I know that my unit's calibrated. I know my safety detectors are calibrated. This is capable of running up to full power without any problems, and it's ready to be used by the doctor. The next step I would do is, would be to return the covers onto the laser, close all the enclosures, take it back to the customer, and they're able to use it. So again, that's a coherent VersaPulse 100 watt power suite Holmium laser. And that's just a brief overview of it. Thanks.